speak in 2004, I first spoke in this parliament about an incredibly brave young boy named Sammy Joe Listro and the life he endures with the rare genetic disorder trichotheodystrophy, or TDT. I met Sammy Jo and his mum, Maria, when she came to me for help all those years ago. Sammy Jo is now 28 years old, and thanks to the unwavering love and dedication of his mum, his supportive family and friends and community, and the fantastic care of our medical profession, he has exceeded, Deputy Speaker, all expectations. At 28, Sammy Jo is the oldest living TDT sufferer in Australia, a phenomenal outcome, but one that comes with a new set of challenges for Sammy Jo and his family. Not much is known about TDD in Australia, Deputy Speaker, let alone treatment for adults. Sammy Jo has been receiving critical intravenous immunoglobulin IVIG, IVIG treatment, which effectively checks his bone density. It's a treatment that is required every three years and is administered over a six-month period. Now, although Sammy Jo has received amazing support and care from the Austin Hospital, they cannot unfortunately provide IVIG treatment critical to treating the symptoms of Sammy Jo's disease, as the blood bank has set criteria that Sammy Jo, as an adult, doesn't fit and therefore doesn't qualify. The only way to get IVIG treatment is to pay for it or, for, or, for to, or to travel overseas and this deputy speaker is no longer viable, a viable option for the Listro family. Unlike in the United States, where Sammy Joe has been receiving treatment, there is not enough research available in Australia linking the treatment of IVIG and TDT in adults. Research that would enable criteria to be set that, that then would allow Sammy Joe access to the treatment. And this is because, with the exception of Sammy Joe Listro, no other TDD sufferer has survived into adulthood. So it's not prioritised and it's all a bit too hard. What Maria Listro and, and her son Sammy Jo ask is that the government put this treatment on the list of chronic diseases for young adults, as without it, Sammy Jo will suffer insurmountably and so will his family. Sammy Jo's life is an inspiration, and in raising awareness of this rare genetic disorder, I want to call on the government, and in fact to call on all of us, to do a little bit more in treating TDT as it develops into adulthood. I want to, I want to add, uh, end, uh, Deputy Speaker, with some words from Maria Listro. She's a great inspiration, and I quote, Sammy Jo is my pride and joy, my heart and soul, and my whole reason for living. He is truly a miracle child and a survivor, an inspiration to his family and friends. Like all parents, we want everything for our son, and thinking ahead about what the future may or may not hold makes me strengthen my determination to see that my child has every opportunity and experience he deserves. Deputy Speaker, raising awareness of this very important rare condition and this wonderful family, the Listro family, I ask that we pay some attention to assisting the Sammy Joe and his family. Thank you.